Hi there! It's a new week, which means we're going to pick another color to turn into a wearable everyday look. And this week I got a suggestion from you actually to do a navy blue look, which sounds kind of intimidating, but it's not. We're going to make it as wearable as we can. I promise you it's going to be soft enough for you to wear to work and uh, wherever you want to go. So grab your palettes, because this is a challenge. <laughs> I'm doing this mini series because I want to see you incorporate a little bit more color into your everyday makeup as colors can be as wearable as neutrals if you make them soft enough. <laughs> so don't be scared of color, I promise you it's wearable and can be soft. So let's get to work. Obviously it's not going to be like a full navy blue look, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of neutral as well. Mainly it's going to be cool tones because navy blue is a cool tone, so I can incorporate um, grayish tones cool tone browns as well as silver. Let's start with the neutral base. I do have here my Wild... I used the Wild West palette so for so long that I think this is the Wild West palette. No, this is the Wet and Wild uh, Rose in the Air palette and I love that it has this cool tone here which I'm going to use actually. It's also marked as transition so we're going to use it as transition. This is a Sigma E25 brush. So we're going to apply this as some kind of a base. I'm going to start from my outer corner and then slowly bring this into my crease. I'm starting from the outer part of my crease and bringing it a little bit inwards. I want the inner portion to be really faded so that's why I apply the most concentration in the outer portion. At least for my eye shade this really works because I have close set eyes and it kind of distances them from my nose. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that shadow and apply it on my lower lash line. This is pretty light so I don't need a smaller brush for my lower lash line. I don't have to be really precise with this shade. It just adds that little bit of uh, definition to my lid. I almost forgot to mention that I did have eyeshadow primer on my lids. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original one. The next palette that I'm going to use today is the Sapphire Obsession by Huda Beauty it has navy in it and it also has a silver which I'm going to use. If you're not comfortable with shimmers during the day because I know there are people who believe that shimmers are for nighttime, you can apply just a matte kind of a lighter shade than the one that you applied in the crease, something like this or like whatever you have. But I am going to apply a shimmer because uh, to me shimmers are wearable as long as they're light in tone. So I will just pick this shimmer from the palette, I'm going to apply it with a brush so it doesn't come out with like very very blinding. Okay, this can be like a little bit glittery, so yeah, maybe it is a kind of a, like an evening shade, but I'm going to fade it as much as I can. I actually thought it was a shimmer and not a glitter, but it's actually kind of like a pressed glitter. But what can I say, I'm really happy that I finally tried this shade, because it's really special and I will be using it more often from today on. It looks really stunning in real life, I don't know how much of that uh, translates into the camera, but it's, uh, it has some really gorgeous reflexes. Now that I have my cool tone base laid down, I'm going to incorporate the navy blue and I'm going to do a navy blue eyeliner. I feel like for non-wearable shades, like navy blue can be. I mean, for really dark, colorful shades like this, the best way to get around it for everyday looks is a wing liner in my opinion. It's like, because navy blue is such a dark shade, it's kind of like creating an everyday look with black. How can you create an everyday look with black unless you're doing a black wing liner? Conventionally, a black smoky eye is not really <laughs> uh, wearable, so a wing liner is kind of like my workaround. <laughs> Same goes with navy blue, it's such a dark shade. I mean, to me it kind of comes close to black, let's say it's not black, but it's somewhere around there. So for this I am going to need an angle brush, I'm using this one from Essence, it's their eyeliner brush and the micellar water. Uh, I did this trick like three times already. Um, you basically have to dip your brush into micellar water and then you can take your eyeshadow and create precise lines with it, wing liner included. So let's get my brush wet. I always make a mess while doing this. 
And then I'm going to take my navy blue shade, I'm going to dip into the corner of the eyeshadow because the micellar water can uh, kind of change the texture of the eyeshadow so you gotta be really careful with that, you don't want to ruin your shadows so I'm just going to dip in the corner and then we're just going to do a liner, I usually do mine with my eyes open the micellar water hack is just magical, look at that, it just turned into a kind of like a gel liner <laughs> I usually do a line from my outer corner in a kind of like continuing my lower lash line upwards like that you can do it as long or short as you want I'm going to do mine kind of like that i think and then you're going to want to connect this line with your eyelids i usually start here at the end of my line and do a straight line towards my eye and where it stops it kind of stops here because i have round eyes so a straight line like that and uh, that's my liner, I'm just going to do it halfway like that because that works best for my rounded eyes it kind of depends on the shape that you want to create I usually like a lifted outer corner, that's why I do this shape so if you like a more rounded eye you can apply the liner all the way to your lid it's going to enhance the roundness in your eyes but if you're looking for a cat eye like me you can try out this technique when I look at an eyelid I can already see the placement that you have to do for um, a wing liner on that particular eye I, I usually just imaginarily do makeup on people if you, especially like if you're not wearing makeup, but even if you are I look at you and you bet that I'm doing your makeup in my mind this is the liner, this look kind of resembles the teal liner that I did I'm just going to link it somewhere on the screen just in case you want to see that as well after this one though, <laughs> make sure you watch till the end I'm gonna take a small detail brush with the tiniest bit of this navy shade and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner of my lower lash line and kind of connecting it to the liner I just wanted to incorporate a little bit more navy blue so it's visible that it's that <laughs> What colors do you usually go for when you want to do a colorful everyday look? I'm really curious because uh, I'm looking for colors that are kind of wearable on their own which for me are olive green, mustard yellow, um, and yellow, like a regular yellow as well, peachy, peach, is that, is it called peach or peachy, because I, I have no idea, I think the color is called peach, but I'm not sure, anyways, peachy tones, <laughs> I mean, those are the colors that for me are just wearable on their own without, um, using any variations, I'm gonna take a little bit of my highlighter to pop it into my inner corner, I am just going to stamp it like that and also highlight my brow bone which by the way I'm not I did not set my brows today with the uh, with my gel I'm uh, not really asking for an opinion or anything I'm just going to be jump back between the set brow and this brow I, it was so funny to me because one person they went to my brow tutorial, the one that I used, the one in which I used the gel and they commented, this looks weird to me, the brows look weird to me and then they searched in my older videos for um, a video that I, in which I wore the, not regular, this kind of a brow, maybe a little bit more filled in because I used to fill them in a little bit more and they commented, it was literally one minute difference, they commented, uh, I love the brows they wanted to let me know that they don't like the laminated brow and they like the regular brow so thank you for letting me know <laughs> that was so sweet <laughs> so the brows look weird and i like the brow two different videos same time um it's just so funny to me how other people can invest that energy that amount of energy into my brows i don't invest that time and energy into my brows myself so like Oh, this is so funny to me I'm going to curl my lashes a little bit and apply some mascara I'm using this Pure Volume by Catrice I got this recently so I'm playing around with it uh, this is the brush but I did kind of like a full review I don't think I posted it yet though I will post it during this week and I'm going to use it on my lower lashes as well my backlight was turned off this entire video <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference though I'm going to see I'm going to see on like on the footage let's do the lips I'm going to go for a cool tone as well so I'm going to line them with this boys and berries pencil in the shade dusty brown kind of like a cool tone dark nude 
Or is it warm though? I have no idea. It kind of looks like a taupe to me. Dusky brown. What is this supposed to mean? Like, yeah, I think kind of like a sand brown. So it's supposed to be cool, isn't it? Does it matter though? It's just a nude. <laughs> I'm also going to fill in the sides, kind of like the corners of the lip. Uh, because I'm just going to apply a lighter shade in the middle. And I need some color in my outer corners. And I'm going to go for the sleek matte me in the shade feels. Just a tiny dot on each lip. And blending it with my finger. So this is the look all complete. Let me know if you find it wearable for every day. To me it really is the only thing that a little bit on the edge is the um, glitter, <laughs> the silver glitter. But otherwise the, the navy blue totally wearable. So I would replace uh, the glitter with an actual shimmer that doesn't have like glittery particles. But I'm really happy that I tried this. I really love the color and it just makes a beautiful liner. That's that. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, would you wear this for work and like school? Not school, because probably you're not allowed to wear makeup in school, but like college or classes or whatever. Uh, I'm actually going to work today. I'm working from home, but I will have my camera open for um, trainings and meetings because I'm just starting out. I think I think most of you aren't really bothered when working from home because like I think if I wasn't filming, I wouldn't apply any makeup at all. But I am filming and I really like the feeling that it just getting ready in the morning gives me even though I spend the entire day at home. Not really the entire day because it's Friday and I'm going to meet my mother. I do, I do meet my mother a lot lately. Am I? <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy spending time with her. I will uh, stop rambling. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm waiting for your navy looks. Make sure to DM me your looks on Instagram or like wherever you want to DM me. I don't think you can send me pictures on any other platform other than Instagram. You can tag me in your stories or in your looks or directly send me the selfie. I really want to see you wear this color in your everyday looks. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you're having the most amazing day ever. Here it's so sunny and it just makes me a little bit happier. I hope you're happy as well. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!